What's up everybody, Connor Fields here Bryce Betts. with Bryce Betts and today we're going to make an intermediate to advanced gate start tips video. I uh, had a lot of good feedback from my beginner gate tip video, I'll put the link right here. Uh, but today we're going to get that next level and teach you some of the more advanced techniques of a gate. So Bryce, what would you say are a couple of the most important things to think about when you're in the gate? I think. Uh well, one, you definitely want to be relaxed. You don't want to be super tense and everything. And then after that, once the motion starts, you want to be really fluid. And remember that it's not all in the first pedal. You got to get into your into your sprint well. So the second, third, those pedals are, are almost more important than the first pedal. So get a fluid motion and get going into your sprint is the most important. Yeah, that's definitely true. All right, so we've got our Fresh Park practice gate right here. And uh, Bryce, you're up first. What are a couple of the most important things when you're in the gate? So I just want to go over really fast what we're leading with. We're, um, when you're coming out of the gate, you're coming forward like a sprinter would out of blocks when they're running. Okay. If you were to run, you never run just like this, like a banana peel, right? That's <laughs> the most common mistake I see in the gate is people come out of the gate and they just banana peel. So the reason why that's important to not banana peel is when you get into your sprint, you want to be throwing all your momentum forward. You're going forward out of the gate, right? So to, to come out of the gate like this, your momentum's going up and it, it really doesn't make any sense. If you were to break it down and think about yourself running out of some blocks on the ground, you're going to explode out leading forward. You're not going to come out running like this. One of the most important things to me is my pedal height, okay? So, when you're first starting out, generally you're gonna put it even with your chain stay. But what I like to do is I like to adjust my pedal height based on how steep the gate is. So, for example, if the gate is really steep, you're gonna come out of it really fast. So I pick my pedal up and put it a little bit higher because it comes out faster. Whereas if the gate that I'm on is really flat, I lower it a little bit because it's gonna be a slower movement coming out of the gate. The next thing that I like to focus on is where I'm looking out of the gate, okay? When you're coming out of the gate or going around a turn or anywhere else on the track, your body is gonna follow your eyes. So you wanna make sure that once the gate goes down and once your sprint starts, that you're looking forward and you're not looking down. So one important thing in the gate is you really want to make sure you're nice and relaxed. You don't want to be in the gate tensed up, flexing all your muscles. A, a loose, relaxed muscle is going to be much more reactive and explode faster. So what I like to do in the middle of the cadence, it is, okay, riders, right, random start. Right there, I like to take a deep breath, calm myself, and that really gets myself in the routine, and then I could replicate my gait every time. Okay, so one of the biggest differences between a beginner's gate start and a more advanced gate start is called the slingshot. Now the gates are random, but you do get a split second warning before the gate goes down. Now if you watch any of the top pros gates, they pull off the gate before the gate moves and then time the drop with the gate. Now if you think about it, if you're going to throw a ball and you're going to throw from here or you're going to come back and then throw, you're going to have more power when you come back. So that's actually something that this gate's perfect for teaching is it teaches you how to do the slingshot. So when you do a slingshot, your front tire comes off the gate and then it goes out forward and you get more momentum coming through the starting gate. Okay, so one of the most important things when you're doing the slingshot, you don't want to pull back with your arms really hard or jerk back. It's all one smooth motion. So as your hips and your chest are coming forward, your arms are coming back and they're going to meet in the middle. So you're going to be back and then you're going to come forward as you're pulling back and you're going to meet in the middle 
and then stay forward for the drive phase, like Bryce was talking about earlier. All right, so I hope you guys learned something on the more advanced gate start techniques. If you have any questions about gates and techniques, leave them below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. So, Bryce, thanks for guys, thanks you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys want to see next. Good luck in your next race. See ya. Just got back from the gates tour video. Here's the bonus section. So, you see this? That's my number plate from Poppendall at the World Cups last week. Next person to buy a Fresh Park practice gate and then tweet me, Instagram me, show me the receipt, let me know you guys got it. I will send you this signed plate. Let me know.